All right, John with ASC Exteriors. It is 3.44 in the afternoon, October 3rd, 2023, at 83 degrees here in Ackworth, Georgia. Uh, this is for Aaron doing a attempted repair on this shingle. This is one of the bad shingles that's here. It's outlined. We are gonna have to go up to this uh, additional row because of how the shingle is nailed. Uh, so let's go. We're gonna see if we can unseal it at least a little carefully. And they'll pull through. Just trying to get out. When they pull through, shingles conditions not ideal. Let's see. It's up. It's still nail. So we gotta go up another row. So for reference here, this is the shingle that we're replacing. We're having to go and we're having to touch. So I'm dragging this tool against one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shingles. So eight shingles are impacted to attempt to replace or repair this one shingle. That one blew through as well. Yeah. That one. Yeah, so we got two blow throughs on the row of course above already also, so those would have to be properly documented and prepared. Right, so let's see if that gets it. Right. How are we looking on underlayment, things like that? So we've got 15 pound felt yeah. with no, uh, oh, we've got correct. staples. This is stapled, so this isn't current code compliance. And as us, as licensed contractors, we have to adhere to the conditions set forth by the manufacturers which is now cap nails so that in itself is already showing that this is a repairable situation that is not possible to be done in its current state so we got 13 and a quarter tall we got 39 and three eighths why 39 three eighths of so that's not a current size no, for three for three tab is it no that's a disco shingles no longer on the market with a five and a quarter inch um exposure so in addition to the repairability of this roof it's a shingle that's not even available in the market due to the measurements PXA4, yeah that's the old shingle uh this discontinued shingle we got the letter for that uh all right so you can see clearly right here where it blew through here and here two locations just going through let's tap the footer back in So again, just to notate what we're saying, all of the current uh, three tabs are what, 36 inches? 36 in width. inches, yeah. So yeah. that would notate that there would be a three inch gap at any place that we were going to attempt to repair shingles. So there would be exposed shingles and it would be improper as far as that's concerned because you'd have roughly about a three inch gap on every single shingle. And to notate on this claim, there was a request to repair 67 shingles. So you're gonna have a minimum of 67 places on this roof that have a gap between the shingle and the underlayment decking where the also the underlayment was imp was not installed up to current code compliance as well. So this creates a multitude of issues for this uh, policy holder for QBE. And so here's the other thing, right? So I just wanna outline this a little bit more. Uh, how it was installed, right? Stairs, it's not stair step method, but it's racked which is typical for three tabs, which is fine. However, because of that, to get this shingle out, here's a shingle, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I had to drag my tool across seven and eight to get that out. So eight shingles are being impacted to replace or repair or attempt to remove just one. So 
Now we'll try to put this back in and see what this looks like. Need nails, you got them. I got my old nails. And as you can see, as he's nailing these in without any resistance, you have tons of granular loss to the shingles around these, just literally falling off from every single shingle and the ones around it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely not in a condition to uh, receive or accept the repair. To be able to drive these nails, he's lifting the shingle at an appropriate height, not more than a 45 degree angle to be able to do so. But even so, you have some granulars that are literally just sliding down the bed of shingles. You can hear them falling off as he's nailing. So in reviewing this, as he's already put these in, as you can see, there's loose granules just from touching these shingles. You can see the granular loss oh, yeah. is severe. You've got scarring all on. across the top of these. You definitely have some here. There's some here as well with a gash right there just from the attempted repair. This is the one that we did repair, but there's granulars that were, as he mentioned, because of the tool that we have to use to remove these, there has been severe granular deterioration there as well you have blowout right here in the nail right here yeah. so there's a nail failure even in the one beside it so if we were going to properly repair this we'd have to remove that shingle which impacts another roughly five or six shingles minimum so for all these conditions this attempted repair has absolutely failed and the address here is 222 celebration drive for aaron schultz and we'll be sending this into qbe um, for cause for full replacement